Hi, long time no see. The joke this time is, what do you call a failed circumcision? It's called a ripoff. <laughs> That's like my new favorite dirty joke. No, we haven't seen each other for a while. Um, big news, I went to IMAX and my camera completely gave out. So I'm recording on this goofy little HD Logitech webcam for right now. And I tried to correct the color as best as I can. I am obviously a little too pink and a little too blue, and it's a little, it's a much, but it is what it is, right? Um, so just really quickly, I want to talk about my experience at IMATS. I have never been to IMATS before, and I read up um, all about IMATS for the last year. <laughs> IMATS has been a dream of mine for a couple of years now, and I finally got to go. Um, my goal was to bring like $5,000, and I brought about $2,000. I spent most of it. <laughs> no regrets there. <laughs> I had a really great time. I feel like a lot of the emphasis is on, you know, like just getting in line and kind of getting in the queue. And, and the most effective booths that I saw were the ones that had a queue to look at the product, a queue to order the product, and then a queue to check out. I feel like those were the most speedy ones. Um, and that include Namie's and like Anastasia's booth. Um, I went to almost every booth. I talked to as many people as I possibly could. Um, it was just, it was really great. I felt like there was a lot of like we all had something in common, so it was really easy for me to talk to them, and like we were all friendly, and there was no competition between any of us. It was just a really great experience. Um, I went both Saturday and Sunday, and it was amazing. I had a wonderful time. Everybody's booth was beautiful. Everybody was very nice to me, <laughs> and yeah, I, I oh excuse me. <clears throat> I look forward to going again next year. Um, hopefully I'll be bringing a friend with me though, so I won't have to like shop all alone. Uh, so my goal now is to, until I run through every single product I've bought, um, I'm going to try to do a video a day, at least on one new product that I got from um, IMAX. It might not be new to you. It might be a product that's been around for a while. An example of this would be like the liquid lipstick cement from Lime Crime. Uh, I was my first time purchasing it. And you know, you, you're probably familiar with the item anyways, but there are different ways that I'd like to utilize it. And instead of doing giant haul videos, I thought it'd be funner to kind of do videos where I talk about the individual products and um, a little bit more in depth on what they can do and how I think they could be valuable for you. Uh, the first product that I want to talk about is one of the first booths that I went to, and it was the Crown Brush booth. Um, this is the 35 Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette. I find this to be exceedingly similar to the um, the warm toned palette from like Violet Voss and things like that. So if you don't want to spend all the money on all these crazy warm toned palettes that are available, this one is a pretty good deal. They always have really great deals <laughs> and I think it's a quality product here's what it looks like on the inside there is no mirror but you get all these 35 gorgeous eyeshadows I'd say they're about a little bit bigger than a quarter and you get everything from mattes to let's see where's a sheen to ones with sheen Right, and then you even get a couple that have, like you're, it's not going to be able to see too well, but like this one has some chunks of glitter in it. So, you know, it's a really great versatile palette for all of the warm tones that you could possibly ever need. I would have liked, honestly, to have seen more brick reds. Um, this color is like a cherry red, but it's slightly pink when you blend it out. And then there's a bunch of pink tones up here, too. These are darker purples and grays and, and browns down here. And then there's some really great highlight colors up here as well. Um, I shouldn't have worn my glasses, but you can kind of see the makeup that I did, and yeah, you can kind of tell that it's a great palette. It's got some really great colors, lots and lots of variety in there. I think this is a stellar palette. It's one that I'm proud to own in my collection, and um, yeah, <laughs> so 
Moving on to some more fun stuff. Uh, another thing that I tried today for the first time ever was the uh, was these special little magic lipsticks from Lime Crime. This is not a Lime Crime advert, nor is it a Crown Brush brush advert, but I like how this specific color looks. This specific color is Penny and it's a very shiny kind of red tone copper. Very metallic, very comfortable, one swipe color which was amazing because I'm used to the very old school version of the Lime Crime lipsticks that look like little pink tampons, you know what I'm talking about, those you know, airborne unicorn or whatever and chinchilla and stuff like that but um, I really appreciate this color especially for my skin tone because I feel like it it can make me look a little bit pink but it's got just enough of that gold undertone to kind of even things out and make it a little bit more of a wearable color and not such of a a red tone bronze but more of like a I don't know more like a, a coppery color so it's really wearable for me love this color I think it's gorgeous another thing that I'm playing with today was the infamous Lime Crime uh, Diamond Crushers this color is specifically called Lit it is a light pink and it's got some really gorgeous kinda yellow gold pale yellow gold reflex in it um, I am wearing this all around my inner tear duct and under my eyes and then also on the lips and this product is great. I think I think I understand what they're trying to do with this product, which is offer you something of kind of like a shade shifting product. And I get it. I get it. I get it. But the problem is, is that when I do use these, I find that I have to kind of pile them on to get the kind of color difference. Like in the lips, you can kind of see. Um, and they start to flake. <laughs> they start to flake off and they dry quickly. So if you have the wand out and you're using a tiny brush for detail work like I did in the inner tear ducts, they have a tendency to dry out really fast. And um, but you know, like it's it's still a great product because it's something that you can use on your eyes and it's a great product because it's something that you can use on your lips um, sometimes the formula comes out a little bit on the chunky side and then you have to work with it to get it to this beautiful smooth sheen color so it's not just this like kinda gloppy chunky mess you have to kinda smooth it out a little bit and this particular shade stains. <laughs> this color is gorgeous but it stains. Uh, another great thing about it too is it, well maybe it's not great for you but it smells very strongly of like fruity pebbles to me. You can build it up, you can build up the cover or the color so it's just pure, purely glittery opaque or you can wear it like on your cupid's bow or on your cheeks as more as like a highlight so I thought I'd show you guys just a quick little demo of this product. Boop, boop, boop. And then you just gently kind of smooth it where you want it. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Oh. 